Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Here's how Midas makes future bass. Set the BPM to 145. On a piano, set the mood with a chord progression in the key of E minor. These are the chords I used. By itself, it sounds a little too sad to be Midas, so I use the simple music theory trick. Bro, I'm sick of all these same YouTube channels just saying theory this, theory that. Y'all just give the same advice all the time. All right, what advice would you give? You know, like dynamic range and distressor on one to one setting. Add a little bit of wetness to that, put it on every single track. It sounds like you're just trying to say words that flex how much you know about production instead of giving actual advice. If you paid attention, you'd notice that I'm giving you concepts that you can literally use in your next song and the one after that and one after that, you know, stuff that actually is usable throughout your entire career. In which case means we write a lead in the relative major, which in this case is G. You can use the circle of fifths to instantly find which major and minor keys sound good together. I've left a link to this picture in the description. And don't worry if this riff sounds too happy by itself because listen to what happens when I play it with the chord progression. For the piano sound, you can use a free plugin like Visco 2 or Spitfire Labs, but only for chords because this is what it sounds like when you put it on the lead. <laughs> what? Sounds like if you ask one of those NFT monkeys to play piano for you. By the way, this video is now worth $40,000. Please automate RC20 on the lead to give it a bit of that lo-fi texture. I use the free emulation that I made and you can download this in the description below. Now, Midas would normally layer this with strings, but I can't afford those expensive string plugins because I just bought a million NFTs. So I just use this serum pad. That's right. Just cause you can't afford every expensive plugin doesn't mean you can't find a solution for it. I just copied the chords over from the piano. Oh no! I lost my money from NFTs! Doesn't matter because today's sponsor, DistroKid, gets you paid. Also, makes it super easy for anyone to collaborate and get paid too. Yep, that's right. I'm talking about splits. Look at all these splits. If you have music out with a collaborator, DistroKid can split the earnings from any song or any album and automatically magically send those earnings to your collaborators. That means you as a producer or you as a singer can easily share your earning with the featured artists or anyone else. All you need is their email. What? That's so simple. Just set the percentage and look, DistroKid makes sure they get money for streams and downloads. You don't have to be in a, an accountant to, to send money to anyone. They just do it for you. Add unlimited collaborators. You can change the splits anytime. You can add or remove collaborators. You can go back in time, whoa, and see previous splits. And these are all private. If they need a DistroKid account to set it up, they get a 50% discount. So it's only $10. And as always, DistroKid never takes a cut. So you and your collaborators get 100% of the earning. If you're ready to release some music, just grab your friend. I know you got some and sign up with my VIP link below. It's in the description. Get you 7% off your first year of DistroKid. So they get a discount, you get a discount, everybody gets a discount. What? This is wild. What do we need now for this song? I'll help you out. Come on, let's go. Make an ambient background noise that's in the key of the song by putting hybrid reverb and auto filter on a pluck. This is just a preset from Serum. Layer the lead with another sine plus triangle sound. And a hi-hat loop to keep the rhythm. Put in the beach for ambience. You know, just in case your lyrics end up being about 
California or something. Isn't that what all sad songs are about? Altogether, it sounds like this. Add in a drum rack with an acoustic kick drum and an acoustic snare with reverb and EQ out all of the highs. Keep that hi-hat going. And make the kick go faster and faster as if it's almost building up to something. Layer it all with a snare buildup loop that you make once and use over and over in all of your songs. Wow. The same sounds in your song over and over. <laughs> you know, like real producers make everything from scratch. I'm not gonna get into this right now. Write a bass line using the root notes of the chords. Use LFO1 to give it movement. Technically, I'm using this to emulate a bass guitar. So use Corpus on the kick tight setting and OTT to give it some beef. Copy over all the piano chords from the intro and layer it with a gated sine synth. You might notice a little trend here with the types of sounds I've been using. Copy over the rest of the ambience and plucks. And end it with an ARP melody that sounds like you've been playing way too much Final Fantasy XIV. And all together, it sounds like... another drum rack. Use a bro step dubstep kick and make sure there's lots of click and body and use an equally thick bro step snare. In previous videos you might have seen my snares EQ'd like this but I'm leaving in a lot of that lower end because the snare is never gonna play at the same time as the kick so that keeps it chunky. Make the drum pattern look like this. Add hi-hats that play on the eighth and a crash on each quarter note. Make sure to add a sidechain compressor using these settings to keep the kicks and hats from clashing with one another. The important button I found here is peak because it only captures the transient of the kick and snare leading to a much smoother sidechain. Altogether, your drums will sound like this. Bring in the chords from the verse, but instead of having the chords change on each quarter note like this, we're gonna move it so it matches with the kick. That way you can get away with using the same chord progression for the entire song. Put these chords on a super saw sound. For one of the best super saw sounds that cut through everything, use Serum with basic shapes on a saw wave at seven unison. Layer it with a basic CJW wave bring it an octave down and set the level to maybe around here. Not very much, very subtle. Run this all through a tube distortion and EQ out the lows. These are the settings that I used. Now the main trick here is to use both the envelope and the LFO to slowly have the super saws fade out in volume so that we get that initial hit, but it fades to make room for everything else that comes in. It's a super subtle effect, but it works because, say it with me, super saws are not a lead. It's a layer. Speaking of leads, bring in the melody that we wrote for the intro and cut out the bottom notes. Add in subtle leading notes to accent some of the notes. This is also called a grace note in piano. It sounds like this, compared to this. Midas uses Silent to make analog sounding leads, but it's 2022, so I'm gonna use Serum to do it. The lead is made up of two layers, one plucky, 
and one more distorted. The important thing is to make sure mono and portamento is set to always and set to around there. So it gives that glide. And if you want to get a better understanding of how to use serum to make analog sounding stuff like this, check out my sound design for beginners video after you watch this one. And don't forget, the genre is called future bass. So add in a chunky mid bass and layer it with a sub. You can use erosion on the sub to give it additional thickness. Make sure everything is side-chained to the drums. Adjust the curve and the rate so the drums sound really chunky and don't overlap with the rest of your sounds. This is super essential for Midas's sound. He uses LFO tool to do this, but Duck is cheaper, so that's why I use it. Just remember, just because you're not a bajillionaire NFT bro doesn't mean you can't make great music. As for final details and fills, add in some color base because that's what's trendy, right? How about some tom fills and almond breaks at the same time? Some vocal chops in the background? Now let's give it one final listen from the beginning to see what we've got. Wait, we go? hey man, you missed the vocals. You know what else you missed? Clicking the like button for this video and subscribing to my channel. But only if you learned something today. But the vocals. Like I said earlier, check out some of these other videos on sound design that'll help you really achieve that Midas sound. You, you forgot. Okay, I don't know. Just write something vaguely sad, like how much you hate being in a place that you love. I don't know. Are, are you even actually gonna take my advice? Yeah, make sure you compress them to six and then make sure you put limiters that hit always minus four to five db Ugh. anyway huge shout out to my patrons y'all are the reason i can keep making these videos thank you so much for watching now go make some bangers peace there's a darkness inside of me I'm a man.